What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Wednesday video and welcome back to apps that make you fish better. Guys, you've seen it on the channel before. I've talked about a few apps that we use to fish. These are the apps I use that help me figure out where to go and what to do on a day of fishing here in Galveston Bay. So let's get into it. Three apps to make you fish better. As the first app we're going to talk about is WindFinder. WindFinder is a fantastic app to identify winds coming up during the week and winds of the day. WindFinder is a great app, guys. WindFinder, you can pick your home, pick your wind spots, pick your forecast locations, and then from there, you can pick when and where you want to go by wind directions shown on a map. So let's take a look here at the map here down in the corner. Let's take a look at this together, guys. So what this shows you is not only predicted wind directions, predicted temperature, predicted seas, it also shows you a map overlay. Let's look at the map overlay. So here, same corner, you can see the map overlay shows you a illustrated version of the wind, the direction it's going, and then intensity by color. This is a really, really good way. If we zoom in here, guys, let's zoom in. You can pick a spot you want to fish and you pick that spot, you can see the wind's effect on it. You can really, really nail down a cove, a back lake, a stream, a marsh, a pond, a bay you want to fish, where you want to launch, and the best way to run to your fishing location by using this app, guys. Windfinder.com is amazing, guys. Is it always spot on? It's weather. These guys can't get this right every day. We know that. But 70% of the time, Windfinder is spot on, guys. It's a great way to dial in where you want to fish. It's a great way to plan your day before you head out. We all know wind, weather, tides, most important factors to our fishing trips. So windfinder.com, guys, is that first app we're going to use to predict where the wind's coming from, to plan where to go and how to get there, and then where we can find protected water to fish, guys. First app that'll make you fish better, windfinder.com. Yep. All right, guys, second app you need. All right, we know the three factors to fishing, right? Wind, weather, and tide. So what do you think the next one's gonna be, guys? It's gonna be a weather site. You need a good, solid weather site that predicts the rain, that predicts the temperature, that predicts all these things, guys. I use Weatherbug. Weatherbug.com, as usual, look down here on the left-hand side, guys, and you'll see Weatherbug. Weatherbug gives me an hourly prediction of wind, it gives me an hourly prediction of rain, it gives me a good, accurate forecast on what to expect while I'm on the water. I've picked my wind direction, I've pinned my wind location. Now I can look at this and figure out what the weather's gonna do all day, how to dress appropriately. Is the sun gonna be high and my sight fishing? Or are the clouds gonna be low and my throwing a top water? Weatherbug is an amazing app for picking your weather guys to plan your day. If you only get one day to fish Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, if it's rainy Friday and Sunday, mama's only gonna let you go one day, guys. You know that's gonna be Saturday. So Weatherbug coupled up with WindFinder is a great way to start planning your weekend, guys. So the second app we're gonna talk about there, Weatherbug. All right, guys, the third app we're gonna talk about, and I'm gonna give y'all a bonus. I know I said three, but I'm gonna give y'all a bonus at the end of this. The next thing you need is a good tide forecasting website. There are dozens and dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of them on Google Play Store, Apple Play Store, anywhere you get your apps. There's tons of places to be able to locate a good tide website, guys. Look down here in the bottom left-hand side, and I'll show you what I've got. I use one that is simply called Tides. It is a very, very simple app. You pick the, the closest point to you, and then you predict your tides. We all know moving water is a huge factor in fish biting, and if you couple tides up with a lunar table or a salunar forecast, you can really dial in on when the bite's gonna be hot. So let's take a look here, guys, together. This is what I use. This is called Just Tides. It's a very, very, very simple app. It does what I need to do. We can look here, and we can see selections. We can see different areas nearby. So if I'm fishing the north end of West Bay, the lower end of West Bay, the far east end of East Bay or the jetties, I have spots here that I can pick close to that and I can dial in on the tide. This is a really good app, guys. I enjoy this app a lot. Let me get back in here. And this also has your peak times, your moon, and it also has a little bit of weather data. So it'll tell you if it's 25% rain chances over in the corner or what the moon's doing. Is it full, is it waxing, or is it waning? And it gives you a good detailed time on your highs and your lows, guys. So another solid app that you need to make yourself a better fisherman 
Tides. It doesn't get any easier than that, guys. Best name in the business. If I wanted to find an app about Tides, what am I gonna look for? Tides, right? Guys, now for a bonus. If you watched the last video, wanna know where to fish, try this. This is one of the things we talked about in that, guys. And we talked about, we talked about looter feeding cables, guys. The moon and the sun and its position relative to the earth and its effect on feeding. This is a big thing in deer hunting, guys. We all look at when the deer is supposed to be moving. Deer are gonna be on their feet at noon because it's a full moon, or the deer are gonna be moving in the morning or the afternoon. Well, guys, that applies to fishing as well. The same app, the same features you use to figure out when to deer hunt, that ties back to fishing. That controls feeds. I don't know about redfish, I don't know about flounder, but I know stuff like red snapper, amberjack, king mackerel, speckled trout. Those guys, if you follow these tide tables and then you follow this lunar forecast, I'm telling you, fish on the majors and fish on the minors, you'll increase your hookup, guys. I know you, there's a lot of discrepancies about Corey and I, we fish 10 to two, but a lot of times, if you'll pay attention to what we say in the intro, we're fishing around a major or we're fishing around a minor feed that happens to happen between 10 and two. That's why we're out there at those times of days. So let's take a look at this together real quick, guys. I'll take a look down here again. This table tells me for today that this is a bad day for fishing. It's a waning moon. It's a bad time to fish. But my major times, if you take a look here, my major times are 6.30 to 9.30 or 7.01 to 10.01 p.m. My minors are noon to two. All right, so if Corey and I launch two to 10 to two, we're gonna catch a minor feed, and that's when we're gonna focus on our best spot. That's when we think the fish are gonna be feeding based on the lunar feeding tables, guys. So this is a bonus app we threw in there. This is a little day hack for you. This is three apps, guys, that'll make you a better fisherman. If it doesn't make you a better fisherman, it'll make you better identifying areas to fish based on the wind. If your favorite spot's blown out with a 30 mile an hour wind, well, you'd have known that before you got on the water or wasted your time and got beat up and ran there. If it's gonna rain on Friday and you only get to fish one day, using weather bug will tell you to fish on Saturday or Sunday. That one's common sense, guys. I know you all know that. Uh, using the tide tables, that's a great way to know what's going on. If it's a hard north wind and you're wanting to go way back in the back of a back marsh that gets shallow anyway, and there's a foot and a half drop of tide that day, you might not get out of that back lake. So watch the tides, see where you're at. If you want to go back in that skinny marsh at six in the morning and the incoming starts at seven and that water's gonna be pouring back in there all day, you made the right call, but you knew that because you used the Tide app. And then our bonus, our hack, that lunar table, guys, I'm telling you, is it everything? Is it accurate? Is it dead spot on? I'm not 100% sure if it's voodoo or not, but guys, I'm really starting to key in on this lunar table stuff. I'm learning this from some of the local boys. Larry Ray and Callan Ray are teaching me about these. Uh, some of the other guys, Daniel Modished, some of these boys I fish with around here, they believe in this stuff and they are consistently catching fish. So I'm not gonna say put all the money in the world on top of the lunar table and only fish during that time, but key in on those times and see if that's affecting your bite and see if the bite's better during it. I think you'll find out that the lunar tables and the tides and the winds are three of the major factors that, that regulate whether you're gonna have a good day on the water or not, guys. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you out. We've got some more fun stuff planned, guys. Again, we appreciate all the love and support. We're going into the winter. Videos are a little bit slower for us, but we're gonna care. We're gonna keep cranking them out for y'all, keep y'all entertained all winter. Come spring, when y'all ready to start watching them again, we'll be here still pumping them out, guys. Again, we appreciate everything. We appreciate all the love and support, positivity. We'll see you guys out there.